Hi guys, Linda here. In 18, uh, or excuse me, in 1989, um, June 3rd, 4th, and 5th, the Tenement Square Massacre, or Massacre, took place. And um, I know that the people in, um, in China right now are wearing black because they've been censored from uh, even acknowledging this, what happened, where the one man stood up to the tank, climbed in that tank and told, I don't know what he did to that guy. Uh, it looked like he had a sack of groceries that no one knows. They climbed the tank man, so nobody really knows what happens to him. I tried to upload a video, but it they gave me a strike as soon as I did. So anyway, I thought I'd do it a different way. Here we go. Okay. The Tenement, the Tenement Square Massacre, Massacre, just Arlo Guthrie pun in there, you guys. Chinese activists call on people to wear black. And actually, I would say, let's everybody, you know, if you can, wear black in solidarity because what happened there was, was a crime. Um, uh, it is the anniversary. I haven't played that. I, I was uh, reading. The activist in China are ta taking to social media to urge the public to wear black on the 24th anniversary of the bloody military crackdown on protesters who had camped out for two weeks in Tiananmen Square. The crackdown on pro-democracy protesters on June 4th, 1989 killed hundreds, possibly more. The Chinese government has never fully disclosed what happened on that day and branded the protest as a counter terror revolution revolutionary riot it remains a taboo topic inside the country but the growing use of twitter like sites known as uh, weibo and other s social media although largely censored has made it difficult for authorities to control all information about the tenement crackdown beijing based rights activist hu jai said he had been a appealing online for people to wear black t-shirts on Tuesday or light a candle at home on Monday evening to remember the event. And maybe we all should do that because, I mean, some people think, well, the Chinese people, you know, they're used to working 18 hours a day and not seeing their children. Not true. They're human beings. Come on, people. Let's get in solidarity with them. They stood up. Um, but thanks to the, the role of the Weibo, now there, there are now more people than any other time in the past 24 years that we have come to know and think about this incident. And um, while protests in mainline China are off limits, tens of thousands have gathered to mark the anniversary in past years in Hong Kong's Victoria Park. The territory returned by the British in 1997 operates under a separate political system that promises freedom of speech and other Western-style liberties. When the spreading of information gains momentum, sooner or later, one day, a torch will be relayed from Victoria Park in Hong Kong to Tiananmen Square in Beijing, who said. Um, I'll let you guys finish reading the rest of this article and watch the video up here. But let's never forget, I know if you're my age, you saw that guy. He, he stood in front of that tank and a lot of people said, oh, he was ran over. No, he wasn't. Some protesters pushed him out of the way, and he's just always been referred to as the tank man. I heard he went into a, um indoctrination camp for what he did. I'm not sure if that's true or not. You know, there was rumors going around back then. A lot of people said he died. But anyway, I think maybe just in, in solidarity with these people who want to be free, we should all wear black or at least light a candle. And uh, peace, love, and truth to everybody. And let's never forget, that one man made a big difference because there were over 2,000 people killed um, during this Tiananmen Square massacre or massacre. Peace. Love you all. Linda.